What is up, guys? Welcome back to the Voice of the Giants podcast here on WKCV, the voice of Keystone College. Guys, joined this week in the studio by none other than number 12 of the women's basketball team, Lee Gordon. Lee, what's happening? How you doing? Not much. I'm, I'm good. How you? I'm good, man. I'm good, especially with the fact you guys got to be on Cloud 9 right now because for those who don't know, obviously around Keystone and everything like that, it's playoff time around here, mm-hmm. and you guys got the two seed. You guys are in the semifinal. I, I would assume you guys are just on Cloud 9 right now with that and everything. No, we really are. In all honesty, we're ready for today. I'm, I've been ready. I've been saying we was going to be here, and I just hope that Notre Dame brings the same energy. Absolutely. And it's a case of when we talk about Notre Dame against Keystone, mm-hmm. they hold a different spot with you guys because over the past two seasons, really, not mm-hmm. counting last season and everything like that, mm-hmm. they were kind of the team that was the thorn in our side and everything like that, I mm-hmm. guess you could call it. You go back to two years ago, mm-hmm. ended the perfect regular season at Notre Dame mm-hmm. um, with a one-point loss, and then you split the season series with them this year. It's almost ideal that your first playoff matchup of this season in the defending year, mm-hmm. you guys get Notre Dame. How are you guys feeling about getting against Notre Dame today? So the reason why we have been playing the way we've been playing is let's just make this known we've been hurt in the beginning. Then we had to deal with COVID issues right after that. And right now we are at the peak of our season where we're getting games left and right, one and left and right for the simple fact that now everybody's getting healthy. So now Notre Dame, which, are, which I feel as though that they're not ready for, is now everybody's healthy. Now everybody's on go move. So they had a chance when in the beginning we beat them. The second time they got us, and that was just on our on our end, they got us. We, we said that. And now coming in, I'm not going to say that we're going to win and I'm not going to say that we're going to lose. At the end of the day, today's going to be a great game, and I cannot wait for that. Absolutely, and especially everybody over at the commentator's booth, at the scorer's table, everything. Everybody mm-hmm. is excited. You you can just feel the atmosphere. You can feel the energy. And I want to go back to pretty much that injury-ridden season. Obviously, mm-hmm. can't sugarcoat it. Obviously, beginning of the year, Bella went down with mm-hmm. an injury. Mac went down. Yep. Obviously, that didn't, but that didn't really slow you guys down mm-hmm. in a way. Hey, what was kind of like the mentality when it was the next man up mentality when you lost Bella, who obviously mm. we know what she's done in the past, and mm. Mac being your one of probably the best mm. three point shooters in yes. the conference? What yes, yes, it, yes. What was it like when you guys lost those guys, but yet had that same mentality of next man up? So, what us in general, what we have to keep in mind is that we have to keep our mentality our mentality to a strong level. If we don't keep our mentality to a strong level, then that's when you start to fall. But the fact that we had each other, we picked each other up, even when Mac and Bell was out, they still was picking us up and we were picking them up. As long as we got that team chemistry and we keep working together, we're going to be unstoppable, which we have been unstoppable. So tonight we'll show that. Yes, they were out and now they're back. So now we're about to show something that showcase something at the end of the day that we're ready for this. Just because we had a, ma- a minor setback don't mean at the end of the day we coming back. We have came back, and we're going to continue to do that. And believe me, I've, I've seen it over the past three years I've worked with you guys. Mm-hmm. Every time you guys get a minor setback, that minor set be- setback becomes a, a major, major comeback. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, and it's a case of, like, the better thing to even say mm-hmm. is you guys are getting hot at the right time. Yep. I mean, which, down the postseason – means a lot more and mm-hmm. a lot of these teams that you're possibly going to be seeing for a third time like you got Wilson coming up obviously you had them on senior day yep hey but also on the other side you got Clark Summit you faced them without Bella and Mac mm-hmm. Heck and everything like that at Clark Summit which made a huge difference mm-hmm. and the other big difference to make a difference at any Keystone game whether mm-hmm. it's basketball track heck baseball you name it mm-hmm. the Keystone fans and then obviously I'll, I'll let you elaborate on this one. How how big is it getting, you know, getting the support staff back, getting the entire fan base back and everything? No, it means a lot. And something that I know that I haven't done in the past was uh, talk to the fans, but the more that they talk to us and we talk to them, the atmosphere in there is crazy. And we love all of that support. We need all of that support. And to see that everybody really does support us, it motivates us more to want to do more, to more engagement with them so that the more chemistry that we have in that gym, we're unstoppable. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, and you look at the you, you look at the home record and everything like that. Seven and three. Mm-hmm. I believe. I think if I'm right, most of those those three losses all came out uh, when we had no fans mm-hmm. and pretty much where it was an even playing field mm-hmm. in a way. Hey, but the fans are back and everything like that. And obviously, you, if you missed the finals two years ago, mm-hmm. oh, it was deafening in that gym, even mm-hmm. for the semifinal game. Aim. So I. I, I got to ask in terms of that one. You heard how it was on Saturday. Mm-hmm. 
hey, I, I, I got to know. Oh, what is it like getting that emotion just back in the gym as well? The emotion back in the gym, it just, it makes you want to grind harder. It makes you, like, understand that this is my last season. This is me, Mac Bell, and Abby's last season to play. And the fact that we're giving it our all, like, it means a lot to know that we have to get back into that grind, in which we are. And that's very, like, undeniable that we are. Everybody sees it. We're ready for this. And I, I'm not going to stress that enough that we are ready for this. No, absolutely. And like I said, I see it every single I, – I see it every single week mm-hmm. at, at the games and everything like that. The one – now, the one guy who's been new to this whole operation and everything mm. like that, Coach Al. Yes. Oh. But yet at the same time, if you ever went to a Keystone College basketball game, mm. aim for you guys, you would think that he's been here for, for years. Yeah, for like 30-plus mm-hmm. years or something like that. Mm. What What has it been like just getting to be with Coach Al for this season and everything like that and just adapt to his playing style? So more so, it's not even just adapting to his playing style. We're adapting to each other. Everyone is adapting to each other. We got a new coach with the same players. It's just at the end of the day, as long as we're willing to change certain things, everything comes together as a whole. Coach Al himself, like, from different from other coaches, he's very nicer. He's very a little bit easier, which helps us ease our mind. And we're not constantly worrying about this and that and the third he knows that he knows our factors and he knows the factors that we shouldn't be doing and he's very he's very focused on that especially with our mental health that's a big factor with everything that was going on this season that he pushed and I'm glad that he pushed that because the mental toughness is something that we needed and it helped us progress to where we are now absolutely and the other coach that I got to bring up uh, who's been an absolute game changer Mm. potentially as well graduate assistant Coach Gianna. Mm. Uh, I, I would assume the same thought process goes with Coach mm-hmm. Gianna. So with her, it's just more so like she's a female, so she understands us. So when we're going through it, you know we have Coach G to come to. And then when he can't balance that out because he's a male, sometimes you know how when that goes where some males don't know how to handle certain stuff, then that's when she steps in and she gets us together. She cusses us out, she cusses us out and lets us know how it is. And if we can't take that, then we're going to have to suck that up. But at the end of the day, she does her, her part too with the cheering, the sportsmanship, the, everything that she does, washing her clothes from at the end of the day. Like, she does her part, and so does he. Absolutely. And, again, it's a huge you, – you can tell with this team. Mm-hmm. It may be a small roster, about 13 girls on roster, mm-hmm. just about, give or take. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, the family aspect still stays yes. the same no matter what. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'll let you elaborate on that a little bit more as well. So more so what our family aspect is, if one thing happened, we all know at the end of the day somebody got somebody back. On the court, off the court, we're able to talk to each other. We're able to share certain things that you wouldn't think that a team is able to share, and we share that connection in multiple ways. It's At the end of the day, it's a family. You have your bad days, you have your good days. you got to work it out. Absolutely. And we, we talk about the family. We talk about the roster and everything. Mm-hmm. I would be a fool if I didn't bring up, up this past weekend and these past two weeks. For mm-hmm. those who don't know, oh, and this is huge, congratulations to you, Mac and Bella. Thank you. Uh, all you guys hit the thousand point marker. Mm-hmm. Or I'll go back to, I'll, I'll hit them each, each because they happen in separate weeks and everything like mm-hmm. that. But for Bella's and Max, you couldn't have written that script up any mm-hmm. better if you gave them, if you gave any writer, a professional writer, a thousand chances to write that up. Back to back shots in the mm-hmm. same game. Yep. What was it like when you guys saw Bella obviously get her mm-hmm. shot? But then, not even the play after, right. Mac gets hers on right. a three. E. So, what was kind of like the mindset, and what was the, just like the feel when they got those thousand points? My first thought on that was that is an unstoppable couple right there. The fact that they both hit that back to back, I've never seen that. I've never seen nothing like that. And the fact that that's an unstoppable couple, the fact that y'all did that together, I applaud y'all for that. And y'all already know that. I love those two together, and I hope that they continue to keep pushing. At the end of the day, with everything that we have, that right there was a marker. Absolutely. And again, you could give you could give any professional writer, or and I'm talking ESPN, Fox Sports, mm-hmm. anything, you could give anybody a thousand chances mm-hmm. to write that. You couldn't right. write that. And especially the fact that it was back to back shots. Mm-hmm. That's a historical moment right there. Absolutely. I'm not denying that. Mm-hmm. At, but then we go back. Honestly, someone who was due for a thousand points mm-hmm. and we were hoping everybody was hoping you got the fourteen points. Mm-hmm. And you got it. And it's ironic. Again, you couldn't give us a thousand chances <laughs> to write this. Right. Against the same, same team, team, yep. But at home. 
What was it like hitting that thousand point shot? Because you actually told us you didn't even know that was your thousand yeah. point. So it was like that game was kind of hard for me at least just because in the beginning I had already got two fouls, which everybody knew that those two fouls, I shouldn't have got those in the beginning. Then with me hitting that thousand points, I was working for it and I just didn't realize it. And then when it hit me, it didn't even hit me till the day after that. I really just hit that thousand points. That that was something that I've been working for for a long time. I wasn't trying to force anything, but that game right there, it really showed me like, Dag, I really have support. Dag, I really could have done this. I really did do it. So it was a big thing for me that it was accomplishment that I got over. Absolutely, and obviously it was a huge huge accomplishment mm-hmm. and everything like that uh, and obviously gonna go on, on to senior day and everything like mm-hmm. that you mac bella mm-hmm. uh and abby mm-hmm. all y'all all, all deserved it had a fantastic senior season what was it like just sharing the stage with them and getting that overall it was beautiful i cried bell cried mac cried abby cried it was a great day and then to see me mac and bell to see our names on that on that board right there that that made me tear up for the simple fact that we've worked so hard just for that and to actually get recognized for that and to be actually on the wall now because before our AD didn't like having posters on the wall or anything like that and now to have a new AD who's doing a lot that I really want to give recognition to because I've never seen somebody really step in as a new job and really change everything around really come out and help and even help set up and take down I see him do his part and I just want to give him that recognition but I really do love that coach already had in stock that it was already going to be said that he gave that gave that to us but it was wonderful yeah, it was awesome seeing you guys get that banner. Like I said, well deserved. Mm-hmm. And I gotta, I, I gotta bring up something that I rarely bring up. Uh, yet a rare senior play in her only season this year, Abby. Mm-hmm. He, obviously, she was a double double machine mm-hmm. coming off the bench. Mm-hmm. And what was it like just getting Abby, getting Renata, just getting that whole roster together and everything like that, and just picking up where you guys left off? With Abby and Renata, I want to say thank you guys on some real talk. Like really thank you. The boards, the double doubles that they hit, everything matters. Every point matters. Every rebound matters. Every hustle matters. And they do their part. They get on that ground, and sometimes they won't get calls that they should get called for. But they still hustle to the next play. We might get upset, but we move on to that next play. And that's what those two do, and I give them recognition for that every time. Because it is Abby with 20 rebounds? I'm still stuck on that. What that For me, I can't even do that. But to see that happen, I think that that is great. Ren with her double-doubles, having fifth, six double-doubles back-to-back, that's tough. For the both of them. So thank you guys for playing your part. And another girl to bring up who's virtually become your sixth man and everything mm-hmm. like that when you guys get into tr- foul trouble and mm-hmm. everything. Meg Weber. Mm-hmm. Her seriously. Been that junior spark plug over the past couple mm-hmm. of years and everything like that. Had that comes off the bench and you guys use it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what what roles have just been everybody been playing? Like Meg, Hannah, everybody. First of all, Meg, congratulations on your sportsmanship, bro, because you well deserve it. She, every time, no matter if we miss the shot, make the shot, that girl's on the sideline cheering us on, no matter what. Even with her being hurt right now, she is still hustling to get in that game and try to get threes, try to get rebounds, anything. She's still hustling. I applaud her for that. Then Hannah, Annie, Michaela, thank you guys for stepping in in a time that we really did need you guys, and you helped us 100%. No doubt about that. And I applaud y'all every day for helping us, for stepping into something that y'all learn plays quick. Y'all learn a lot of stuff quick. And they haven't played since, what, high school, elementary, and they still stepped in and really did a big, huge job. Absolutely, absolutely. And again, wrapping up the episode and everything like that, mm-hmm. again, got to talk about that tonight and everything like that. I assume the mindset's been mm-hmm. the same. I assume the mindset is just, we're hopping into this thing. Mm-hmm. We're at home. Mm-hmm. We're going to take this thing. So I'll just go ahead. I'll let you elaborate on tonight. With tonight, our mindset is 10 times stronger than it was before because we know it's do or die tonight. It's It could be our last game. It could not be our last game. But we're taking it as it's not our last game. We're ready for this. And like I said, I hope Norton Dam is ready for us too. Absolutely, absolutely. And again, I want to th- I want to thank you as always for coming in and everything like that, taking the time. I'm obviously I want to wish you the best of luck tonight. Seriously. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, 100%. Guys, guys, once again, women's basketball playing tonight, 7 o'clock tip-off semifinal game number one. You can catch Lee and the rest of the women's basketball team doing what they do best. Guys, this has been the Voice of the Giants podcast, and we will see you all later.